In today's video, we're going over the best loops that you can buy, in my opinion, after using a few different loops brands. Let's get into it. What is up guys and welcome back. I'm Zach with Dr. Eyeball MD. If you're new to the channel, it's good to have you. I'm a first year ASOP Resocular Plastic Surgery Fellow. So I do surgery on the eyes, the orbits, eye socket, all that kind of cool surgery, plastic surgery around that area. But I also focus on ophthalmology, medicine, life as a doctor, bringing you guys along on the ride through my trip through medicine. So go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. But in today's video, what I wanna go over is what I think are the best loops out there that you can get. I'm gonna go over the three loops brands that I've used and three of the bigger brands. And then I wanna tell you by category, we'll break it down by which ones I think are the best quality, which ones are the best style, which ones are the most comfortable, the best customer service. And then we'll have a winner in each category. We'll rank it by 10 points in each category. Um, and I'll just let you know that not one loops brand wins in every category category. Uh, so they all have pluses and minuses. And it really just depends what you're looking for in loops because they offer different things. Some are better at some things and others other things. So it depends on what you're looking for. But I'm going to tell you what I think is the overall best loops at the end. So hang around for that. Also, guys, if you're not already following, go check out my Instagram. I show you guys all kinds of cool things, surgery videos, day in the life, awesome pictures, cool stuff about medicine life as an oculoplastic surgeon. We're on the push to 10,000 followers, so that's cool. Go ahead, follow me, Dr. Eyeball MD on Instagram. The reason that I kind of came up with these three brands, they are three of the bigger brands, but in ophthalmology residency, we're kind of just put in contact with one of the reps with Designs for Vision, and then we all get Designs for Vision loops, and that's just how it is. Everybody ends up with Designs for Vision, and so that's what I had throughout residency, but when I started Oculoplastic Surgery Fellowship, I was like, all right, I wanna get really the best loops I can get, because this is gonna be what I use for every surgery for the rest of my life, basically. So I wanted to go out and I wanted to find what is the best loops out there, uh, and so, I already knew the designs for vision loops, but I even explored some more of their loops. I tried on their different types of loops, some of their higher magnification, their panoramic wide field of view loops. Uh, and then I met with the Surgitel company uh, and the rep, and I tried on some of their loops. One of my co-fellows actually has their loops, which we're gonna look at here in a minute. Uh, and then finally, I reached out to another loops company, Oroscoptic, and I wanted to see what they were all about. And I tried some of their loops on. Uh, and then ultimately, I'll just full disclosure here, I ended up going with the oroscopic loops for myself. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. Let's take a look at the loops. So this is kind of the bag that I actually use. It's a Sony camera bag that I've divided up in these little compartments. It works nicely. It holds the loops well. Uh, so this will be the one of the contenders from the oroscopic category. So uh, we have a couple from the oroscopics brand that we're gonna take a look at today. Uh, so this particular model here, um, is going to be one that has a two and a half magnification loop on the front right here and we have a light uh, and this nice sexy frame. We'll get into that in a minute. So that's one of our contenders from Oroscoptic. It's got the light handle attached. Um, and then we're gonna take a look at one of the designs for vision loops. These were my original loops that I had in residency uh, here on the Oakley frame. So you can see or sorry, the Nike frame. Designs for vision, two and a half magnification there. We'll take a look at those loops. Uh, I kept those in this nice little case here. Um, it had a handle, a strap on it that I've taken off. Uh, another contender from the Oroscoptic category is gonna be these loops that I've gotten more recently from the company. Uh, and they are these, which we actually have a video on um, that we made recently. These are adjustable magnification loop so they're able to be twisted and go between two and a half to three and a half magnification so this will be another one of our contenders uh, and it comes in this nice small little hard case and that hard case fits in this big case just so you can get a look at that nice big case the small case fits nicely in here um, i've got all this stuff in it so it doesn't go right now but that's where it goes and it fits easily there uh, and then our final contender here will be the Surgitel loops. Um, these are some that I borrowed from another fellow, and they are right here. And they come in this probably the most durable case, definitely the most durable. Actually, the designs for vision is essentially the same uh, case. It's just smaller. So the Surgitel company here, um, super durable case, not going to be uh, damaging your loops inside of that. And we'll unwrap the light handle here. They are on the Oakley frame. So this will be another one of our contenders. Uh, and they of course have the light as well, right here. And then these are a three, uh, three X magnification or three and a half 
I think I think 3x. So those are the Surgitel loops. So these are gonna be the ones that we're going to be reviewing. Obviously within each loops company, they have different frames, different styles. So, you know, while the designs for vision loops that I'm looking at today are on these more athletic looking Nike frames, you can get the ones that look more traditional hipster style glasses that you've probably seen your attendings or other people wearing from the designs for vision company. Um, and the same with, with the other loops brands. Um, although I'm not sure about Surgitel if they have that style they may. Um, so the first category that I want to dive into here is going to be the comfort of the loop. So this is pretty important, especially if you're doing a lot of surgery and long surgeries all day long. You don't want to notice the loops on your face and be operating and thinking about the loop hurting your face. So let's get into it um, and rank these uh, by which is the most comfortable and give each one a score out of 10. So let's go ahead and start with the designs for vision loops. So these slide on nice and easy. They have a croaky, they hang like this. And these are super lightweight loops. So these are super lightweight loops. These are loops that I just forget I'm wearing basically because they're so comfortable. I just don't even notice them. They wrap around my head nicely. They don't squeeze. They don't, they don't give me a headache or anything. And then I just pop them off, hang them around my neck or hang them right here. I like that I can do this with them too, um, which is really nice. So this is, uh, this is the designs for vision ones. And overall, I would probably give these like a nine out of 10 on, in terms of comfort uh, for the designs for vision loops. Now keep in mind, like I said, they make the other more hipster style frames, which I've tried on, and they're definitely not as comfortable as this style frame. Now it really comes down to more just the frame uh, and less the company here. So the Surgitel loops, they come on these Oakley frames, at least some of their models do, and they are also incredibly comfortable because they are a athletic kind of just built for comfort frame. Um, and so these are also some of the more comfortable loops. And these are a little less comfortable, in my opinion, on my head uh, than the Designs for Vision ones. I, I kind of just sense these being there more and I don't feel like they're quite as comfortable. So these I would give probably about an eight out of 10 uh, in terms of comfort. They're really good, they're not bad, but they're just not as comfortable as the designs for vision loops. So in terms of comfort, I give the Surgitel loops a eight out of 10. So one behind the designs for vision. The last category, the last group here is going to be my uh, oroscopic loops. Now these, these I have in a more traditional frame and they're a little more noticeable on my face, but uh, when I'm operating with them, I really forget that I'm wearing them oftentimes. They, they're pretty comfortable. They don't squeeze my head too tight. They don't bow out because they're too small and they come in small, medium, and large. So the, the width of them uh, varies and so they can get it to fit your head properly. Um, these also have a really nice to block my face to get this to focus. These have a really nice little uh, silicone nose piece here, so it's super comfortable on the nose. Uh, very comfortable frame overall. Um, these are less comfortable than my designs for vision loops, uh, but I put them on about the same level as the or uh, as the Surgitel loops. So these I'm also going to give like an eight out of ten in terms of comfort. So in the first category, we have designs for vision being the most comfortable loop in my opinion. If you get this frame, the ones that are this more athletic Nike frame, they're very comfortable, not noticeable. Then followed by a tie on the oroscopic loops and the designs for vision loops. And I should go ahead and throw in as well this extra oroscopics uh, loops that I have. These here, the, the adjustable ones, I would put a little less comfortable because of the added weight of the adjustable loops. So these loops spin to go between two and a half, three and a half magnification. That makes them a little top heavy. And so a little bit more noticeable, but still very comfortable. I'd probably put these around a seven out of 10 uh, in terms of comfort because they are very comfortable, but not as comfortable as these lighter weight frames with the smaller loops. Now, again, remember there's a trade-off to all these. So what you're giving up for uh, in, in comfort on these, you're getting with an added benefit from the magnification, but we'll get into that in a minute when we get to the quality category. So in the lead right now is going to be Designs for Vision followed by Surgitel, uh, and then slightly behind or right even with Surgitel is Oroscopic in terms of comfort. Now, the next category that I wanna go into is the style. How do they look? This may not be so important to you, and this really comes down to your preference. But you, but for me, at least, I like the style that is this more traditional glasses style frame uh, that I got with Oroscoptic. So if you took the loops out of this, uh, out of these glasses, they could, 
or out of these if you took the actual loop part out of the out of the frame out of the lens these could be a pair of glasses that you might wear uh, where that's not necessarily something I would say with the other loops brands so in terms of style I give the oroscopic uh, I give them a nine uh, I would say nine nine and a half out of ten uh, so I'm gonna put style for oroscopic 9.5 out of 10 um, and now that's obviously personal preference like I said um, these I like a whole lot in terms of style you get that nice deep blue kind of galvanized metal look here these actually say Dr. Eyeball MD on the side uh, so it's nice that they went ahead and engraved those for me but in terms of in terms of just style I like the designs for vision now the next next uh, contender in the style category is going to be uh, the designs or sorry I like the oroscoptic I should say I like the oroscoptic for style the the next the next contender is designs for vision uh, and now in terms of style for these these are probably uh, not the I don't like these as much I just don't like this style of frame as much like I said they're more comfortable but I don't like the way they look now you may be thinking well I don't really care how they look I just want them to be I want them to be comfortable and I want to be able to see out of them well and if that's what you're looking for then good um, these are in my opinion though not as good looking of a frame now the designs for vision company does make these uh, in a more traditional hipstery style frame but those frames in my opinion are still not as good as the oroscopic frames because they're thicker they're bigger they're less comfortable on my head uh, and I just don't think they look as good as this more sleek but still glasses style frame of oroscopic so in terms of designs for vision I'm going to give them a 7 out of 10 on style and so that brings us to Surgitel uh, for style. Now they have these Oakley frames. They have different frames. All of these companies are gonna have different frames. I'm just going off the ones we have here, uh, the ones that some of the people I've worked with have picked and that I have at hand. So these, you know, again, comes down to preference. Uh, I would probably put this about on par with my designs for vision loops. You know, it's a good looking kind of athletic frame if that's what you like. It's just not my preference. So I'm gonna give the Surgitel a seven, uh, 0.5 out of 10 for style. So in the style category, we have Oroscoptic coming out on top, followed by Designs for Vision, and then, or sorry, followed by Surgitel and then Designs for Vision. Moving on to the customer service category. Now this may not be so important to you. Once you actually get your hands on the loops and they're what you want, the customer service is not such a big issue because you're not needing like a lot of continued customer service. But I will say I have noticed a marked difference in the customer service among these three companies. And I think in the beginning, while you're getting the loops, you're getting them fitted, you're trying them, maybe sending them back to have the loops adjusted if needed. This is kind of important. And if you ever need anything in the future, it's kind of nice to know which company is, is better at customer service. Now, this is obviously going to be a bit biased just by the customer service reps that I've personally dealt with where I practice. So I can't speak for the entire company. I can just say what my experience is dealing with a given rep in each company. Uh, and so let's start with Surgitel. So Surgitel was the second company that I reached out to after I tried the designs for vision loops. I was looking for good loops, so I wanted something to compare designs for vision to. So I reached out to the Surgitel company. They were very responsive. We set up a meeting with the rep. And I would say overall, it was a good average experience. It was good, he was good. Everything about it was good, but it wasn't great. So it was nothing special, but it was just what you would need. So no problems in terms of customer service from the Surgitel company. Uh, and so for that, I'm gonna give them them an eight on customer service for Surgitel. Next, we have the Designs for Vision company. Now, this is the company, like I said, we started with. We just kind of got funneled into from the beginning. Uh, but when it came time for me to get my second pair of loops later in fellowship, uh, reaching out to this company, setting up a meeting to actually just just meet and look at some of their other loops option was very difficult. It was like pulling teeth just to get the rep to come meet with me to sell me loops. So this this was very difficult. Finally, I was able to set it up. And it was just very much, they weren't interested in helping me that much. Uh, you could just tell, like, I think they do a lot of business. They're a big, long established loops company. And they, I feel like at least the impression I got was they could skimp on customer service a bit because of that. And, uh, and so for that reason, I really didn't get good vibes from the designs for vision folks. And so for that reason, I'm gonna give them a six out of 10 on customer service. And again, like I said, this is just my experience with my local reps, that kind of thing. So I can't speak for the whole company. But uh, that brings us to the Oroscoptic company. Um, this is the third company, like I said, I reached out to. The reason I knew about this company is because I followed an OMFS surgeon on Instagram and she had these loops. Uh, and so I wanted to see what they were all about. 
Um, and so this company was very responsive to me, very happy to meet up with me. Uh, and the rep I was with was, was by far the best of any of the three companies in terms of setting up a meeting, just kind of help catering to my like busy uh, surgeon's doctor schedule uh, and then and meeting up with me. I could text her, I had her number, she was very responsive uh, and anything I needed she would help me get. Um, and so by far the customer service uh, for Oroscoptic was the best. I give them a 9.5 out of 10. So that brings for the customer service category we have Oroscoptic on top by far. Surgitel right in the middle, good customer service, nothing wrong with it in my opinion. Designs for vision in my opinion, in my experience was the lowest, not great customer service, not a great loops buying experience for me. All right, the next category I wanna do is the case that they come in. This is not so important, I think. For me, I actually just use like a case that I made myself that I showed you in the beginning of the video here. This Sony camera bag case, I've kind of divided it out into these little sections. And so this works well for me. I put this nice little camera strap on it. Uh, and so that's what I use. But if you're looking to use the case on a day-to-day -day basis, I'll let you know which one I think is the best. So starting out with the designs for vision case, it comes in this durable hard case. They put your name on it here um, or, or wherever you want it. They'll put it wherever I think. And then it's made for the loops. It's fine, it's great. It has these nice little things here. So you can uh, put a strap on it, like a full shoulder strap, which I personally really like. So this is a fine, good case, nothing wrong with it. I'm gonna give it a, uh, a seven out of 10, just cause it's nothing special. I think it could be better, um, but it gets the job done. It's just nothing special. So seven out of 10, designs for vision on the case. Um, Next is the Surgitel case. It's essentially the same story. It's just bigger and it has room for your light inside, um, but it's essentially the same same kind of thing. Now, personally, I don't like this style. It's just not a very aesthetically pleasing case to me, um, but it's fine. It does the it does the job. It just looks like you're carrying around kind of one of those those nuclear bomb code briefcases that those guys handcuff to their to their wrist. So the, the Surgitel case is fine, good, it's gonna do the job. But again, nothing special, nothing to write home about. So I'm gonna give them a seven out of 10 as well. Uh, <clears throat> all right, and that brings us to the Oroscoptics case. Now what I like about the Oroscoptics case is that you actually get two cases. So you get one that fits the loops themselves. So the loops fit nicely in here. It's a soft material, it's a hard case. Uh, and then this case, while it, oh, it also gets monogrammed or uh, whatever you call this, Dr. Eyeball MD. So the loops fit in here, and then this, if you want, will fit inside of the big case. And so you have the option of either just carrying the loops on their own, or you can uh, carry the big case with the loops in this little case, and then put your light and your other stuff, and you have even some room for some more stuff if you want. Um, and so this is actually my favorite case. It's aesthetically the nicest case. It has this nice little kind of textured feel to it. It's a nice handle. But the downside to this case is it doesn't have anything I can put like a shoulder strap on. It doesn't have the loops. All it needs is two D-ring loops here and here, and I would use this case as my everyday carry case for these loops, but it doesn't, and for that reason, I have to use that other case. So, for that reason, this case could have been like a nine, eight and a half, nine out of 10, but because it doesn't have those straps, I'm gonna drop it down to a seven out of 10, and so it really just ties with all the other cases. I'm, giving, I'm putting all these cases on the same level because they each have something good, uh, and the Surgitel and Designs Revision are just not very aesthetically pleasing, not very nice cases to look at. The Oroscoptic case is nicer, but it doesn't have a strap for my shoulder, and so that drops it a little bit. So overall, I'd still probably prefer the, the Oroscoptic, but it just, because it doesn't have that, I have to drop it down, and so it, they, I'm just gonna say it's a wash on the case uh, for all, all the uh, brands here in, in terms of uh, which one I like best. It's just even, Steven, whatever, whatever you like, uh, preference-wise, I don't think one's better necessarily. So that's the, uh, that is the case. And finally, which is probably the most important part of this video is the quality of the loops themselves. Now the actual loop, the part that you're looking through, that's what really matters here is what is your, what is your quality of vision here? So what is the clarity of the loop itself? What is the field of vision? So is it a tiny rectangle? Uh, is it a big circle? Is it real little? What is the depth of field of the loop? That really depends a lot on uh, the magnification because the, the higher, the more magnification I've noticed, like on these oroscoptic loops, 
uh, that go between two and a half and three and a half mag. While while the two and a half mag, I get a, a more depth of field. I feel like when I go up to the three and a half mag, my depth of field shrinks, and so it's a smaller depth of field where I'm in focus. Uh, but that's something that goes into kind of the whole quality of the loops and then the material that it's made of which i think kind of affects the actual quality of vision so let's start with the surgitel loops here uh, and because these aren't the loops that i use on every day these are like i said one of the co-fellows loops um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna just put them on so that I can kind of refresh my memory I've looked at them before but uh, I would say in terms of the quality here they're good uh, they have similar to the oroscoptics loops they have uh, what I think is glass loops uh, I can, I'm not sure but I think they're glass and not a plastics loops there um, and they're round it's a round field of view which is good in my opinion it's easier to kind of look at a round field while you're operating um, and so that's something that I like so these loops I think are perfectly good perfectly fine I like them a lot um, the, the outer part is plastic which is fine I don't know that it that matters that much uh, my oroscopic ones are this this metal uh, this metal feel to them um, but the loops on Surgitel are great no problems with those I'm gonna put those at an eight and a half on quality for Surgitel next we come to the designs for vision loops and now these are fine these are what I had all throughout residency and I never really realized uh, until I tried on these other loops brands um, how much better they could be so these what I don't like about these most is the rectangular viewing field so I think they maybe make some round ones for designs for vision so if you really want to get designs for vision uh, they may have some round options for you but these are a little rectangular field of view which in my opinion I don't like looking through a strip of field of vision when I'm operating it's nice to have a round field of view uh, and so I don't love these for that reason the other thing on these is they just feel cheaper. They look plasticky. They just don't feel as as quality as my other loops. And, and just the quality of vision when I put them on is not as good as Surgitel. And then when we move over to the uh, designs, or sorry, the Oroscoptics loops, um, the, I, I just feel like it's a huge jump in quality. It's just so much clearer. It's a round field of view and it's just a better viewing experience. So the designs for vision loops, I think in my opinion, for the loops that I have, these are, the worst quality uh, in terms of viewing. Now, like I said, they make other uh, loops higher. I think they have higher end actual loops, but these kind of standard little rectangular plasticky filling ones that you get, I just, I don't like them. I just don't like them and they're not as good. So I'm going to give them a six and a half out of 10. They're fine, they get the job done, uh, but it's just not what I would recommend um, if you're looking for good quality. So that brings us to the Oroscoptics loops. Like I said, these were the last brand that I tried on when I met with the rep, met with the company. Uh, and I was like, yes, this is the one I like. It has it has the best best kind of quality field of vision. I get a nice round viewing field. It's crystal clear. And in terms of depth of field for my two and a half mags, so I'm in focus from here, about here, and in focus and focus and focus and focus. And not till about here do I start going out of focus. So it's it's a good depth of field on my two and a half mag uh, or scoptics loops. Um, and then my three and a half, uh, or these are two and a half and three and a half. So for these, also crystal clear, very nice. I will, I did notice a little bit on these when I go up to the three and a half mag, there was a little distortion at the periphery of the, uh, of the lens itself. But as I got to operating, I didn't really notice this. Um, but it was it was almost a little more uh, of a fisheye appearance I noticed it first so I think maybe there's a slight drop in quality of loop going from this kind of fixed uh, this fixed loop to these adjustable ones and so maybe not quite as clear on the edges with this but perfectly fine in the center and I really do like the ability to zoom in with these because I use this on Friday one case I use two and a half the next case I use three and a half mag so I like that ability um, but super clear and then I'll tell you here so on the uh, two and a half setting, I'm in focus here to about here. So on this particular loop, I feel a little less depth of field about like this. And then if I go up to three and a half magnification, I'm in focus from here to here. So 
it's like here it's a it feels like a much smaller depth of field with these adjustable loops but the quality is still very good um, but i do think i get a little bit better quality on my fixed or scoptic loops but overall i think those are probably the highest quality they're pretty close to the surgitel in terms of quality uh, but i'm gonna inch them just a bit above it i like them a little better than the surgitel so i'm gonna give them a nine out of ten in terms of quality uh, for the oroscoptic loops. All right, so that brings us to the end of all the categories. We're gonna tally the numbers. We're gonna pick a winner, an overall best in show loops, in my opinion. Again, guys, this is gonna be just my opinion. But, so, <laughs> Designs for Vision comes out in third place with 35.5 points. In second place is gonna be Surgitel with 39.3. And then in first place, I have Oroscoptic with 43 points. Now that is kind of, I, I didn't actually do these numbers ahead of time. I was just doing it on the spot, kind of what I would rate them. And, and that is actually the order I would rate these in terms of just overall quality and like everything put together in a package. Uh, Oroscoptic is my favorite brand. Uh, and then next I would probably pick the Surgitel Loops followed by Designs for Vision for all those reasons combined. Now in full disclosure, um, after I already reached out to the Oroscoptics Loop company um, and bought these outright, I bought these loops, you know, completely with my own money. Um, I like them so much that I said, hey guys, these are the loops I'm gonna use going forward. If you want a partner and in, like an influencer type thing, I'd be happy to do it. So they brought me into their uh, influencer not influencer there, um, or they call it reviewer program. And so they they sent me these loops, the, the adjustable ones, uh, for free to try out for six months. I have to give them back or I can buy them at a discounted rate. Uh, but as part of kind of like their program for being like one of the people that reviews their loops, uh, they sent me these for free. So I do kind of work with them in a way, but like I said, I reached out to them first, bought their loops myself, and because I like them, I reached out to them and asked them if they would like to partner. So it wasn't them reaching out to me and then me, you know, making these, this kind of ranking system based off of that in any way. Uh, so that's my preference. I like the Oroscoptic the best, uh, mostly because of the frame and the quality of the loops. That's the biggest thing. Um, and, and that's what's most important to me. I want to be able to see well, and I like that they look cool. And if they're comfortable, good. They need to be pretty comfortable. They're all very comfortable, but, uh, and like I said, Designs for Vision was my most comfortable, but I'd rather be able to see better out of the Oroscoptics, and they're perfectly comfortable enough. Um, and so that's why I picked those. Uh, and then and then the Surgitel, great loops overall. I just didn't like their frames, their style as much. And then the Designs for Vision is fine, you know, but like I said, I don't see as well out of this particular one. And then trying to work with the rep to try out other ones, it's just, it was difficult and cumbersome and not a pleasant experience so it's not one that i'm going to go with uh moving forward probably so um, that's why i would put them as last place for me now as a bonus final category here i'm going to tell you about the lights uh for each of these loops brands because they all come with lights uh and so in my opinion it's kind of a bonus thing here it didn't really factor in so much but uh it, it could factor in for you um i'm gonna put in third place Worst light, I would put the uh, Designs for Vision light. So the reason I say that is because it's a harsher blue light uh, and it's not as bright as the Surgitel light. So I don't have one to show you guys, but my attending uses a Designs for Vision light uh, and it's fine, does the job, it's good, whatever. You know, a light's a light, but, um, but I don't like it the best. I would put it as kind of uh, lowest tier light in terms of the ones I've seen. They may have newer ones now, but at least the one he has, Designs for Vision Light, is my least favorite. Um, next, Oroscoptic. It probably comes in second place in terms of light. Um, while I actually do like their battery pack the best, it's the most durable filling and like the nicest looking one. Uh, it's like solid, solid, firm, like case, inset button. It's not like, it's, it's not as, uh, it doesn't feel as cheap as I feel like the Surgitel light feels. Um, but, it's not as bright as the Surgitel light. So this is the Surgitel light box here. It's a plasticky feel. It, it feels a little just has that kind of a uh, chintzy kind of not as quality feel to it, but the light itself is the brightest that I've seen. So this is a, the Surgitel light is the brightest. Um, and where is it? Here it is. Here it is mounted on the Surgitel uh, loops themselves. So this is the brightest light. Um, the actual light itself here is a bit bigger, so I like that on my oroscoptic loops, it's a smaller, it's a smaller actual uh, little light. So you can see the difference, oroscoptic uh, here, and then the uh, Surgitel 
the Sergitelle light here bigger. Sergitelle brighter, uh, Oroscoptic not as bright, but what Oroscoptic has that the other two do not is this true tone color that's more of like a, a softish uh, white light, so it's not as that harsh, like fluorescent bright blue LED light. So it's a more pleasing light to look at uh, while I'm operating, but it's not quite as bright as uh, the Sergitelle light, which is the brightest. So if we're ranking the lights, I'd probably just uh, give the overall winner to the Sergitelle light because it's the brightest and you need a bright light often. Um, and then second place, I'd put Oroscoptic. Although for my own preference, I like the true tone kind of lighter uh, lighter color to the light of the Oroscoptic loops. And then in last place, I'd give the Designs for Vision loops. Um, but I'll show you here kind of a quick comparison of the uh, the Sergitelle and the um, Oroscoptic lights just so you can kind of get an idea of the difference in the brightness of the two lights. So I'll plug them both on. Uh, the design, the uh, the Sergitelle one has this has this kind of twist button here or twist knob to turn it on, and it, it has like a gradation of brightness. Uh, and then I'll I'll just turn it on max. And then the Oroscoptic isn't like a continuous graduation. It's just hold it to turn it on, and then one, two, three settings of brightness so it's on the brightest too so i'm going to put both of these back on the wall behind me so you can see the uh, difference between the two and so the one on the left back there this is the uh or this one is the oroscoptic and this is the uh this is the sergitelle uh here so the sergitelle a little bit bigger it's a sharper ring to it sergitelle over here so slightly larger it has a sharper edge the oroscoptic edge is a bit faded i don't know that doesn't really matter that much um but you can see it actually looks on the camera like the Oroscoptic is a bit brighter than the Sergitelle, but in, in person, the uh, I would say the Sergitelle looks a bit brighter. Um, and you can't tell very well because of the exposure here on the camera, but the uh, the Oroscoptic is actually a softer yellow light than the Oros the, the uh, Sergitelle, which is more of like a, a harsher bluish fluorescent looking light. Um, so for whatever that's worth to you, um, whatever you're looking for, I would just say overall, both lights are fine, both lights are great. Um, and are gonna get the job done. Uh, the case here, I, it's a much nicer case on the Oroscoptic, uh, the battery case that is, than the, uh, the Sergitelle. Both last at least the entire day. I've never run out of battery in a day of operating, although I typically will recharge it each day. I don't know, it, it'll last like a couple days at least. Um, and you can look on the website to get the battery uh, hours. The Sergitelle one is fine. It's nice that you have this gradation all the way. It's a continuous gradation of brightness, uh, but it just feels more of like a chintzier, kind of less high quality thing. This just feels like sturdy metal. I like it better. Um, so it depends on what you're looking for. So that's the bonus category is the light. Um, and I would put Oroscopic and Sergitelle at the, at the top. Sergitelle a little brighter. Oroscopic uh, a little bit nicer on the eyes to look at while you're operating because of that true tone color. Um, and so if that factors into your decision, there's that. Now, the last thing you're probably worrying about uh, or wondering about is price. And the price of these is they're gonna have gradations of price. So they have their base level kind of thing. And this, for designs for vision, this is something uh, like a base level model. Um, and then this is actually the base level, I believe, for the Oroscoptics. Um, in my opinion, you're getting a much nicer quality loop than you are the Designs for Vision. So the Oroscoptic is much higher quality at their base level. Uh, and then, you know, these are some of their higher end uh, loops with these adjustable type things. And they don't just do adjustable uh, between two and a half and three and a half. They have some that go all the way up to like 6x magnification for those people that are in like dentistry and that need to look like at a single tooth or whatever you guys do. I don't know. Uh, and then the Sergitelle loops, I think these are probably around their base model as well. Um, and, and the price is pretty comparable on these things. You know, you're looking at spending probably somewhere around $1,000 just for the loops. If you get the light with it, they often kind of discount it. And so think of like maybe the $1,200 range kind of for just your base. Um, but you really have to meet with the rep and then they give you prices. I'm not even sure you can find the prices on their websites. So maybe you can, I don't know. But that's my opinion, in my humble opinion as a, uh, as a little fella. I like the Oroscoptic loops. That's what I'm gonna use going forward. If I couldn't do that, I'd probably go with the Sergitelle. Uh, or I'd try to find like a really nice higher end designs for vision because I really like, uh, or I don't really like, but I like some of their frames with designs for vision. 
So if I could find a decent quality loop and it wasn't like so difficult to work with the reps to like look at them uh, and, and meet up with them, uh, maybe I'd go for the designs for Vision. But for me, it's Oroscoptic. I like those the best. Uh, and like I said, that's why I reached out to them to partner with them personally. I reached out, I said, hey, I like the loops. You guys should like send me some more loops and I'll talk about them because uh, they're good. And so I want to get, give you guys an honest comparison. Like I said, there's some that are better in other categories, uh, but as an overall best in show, I go with Oroscoptic. That's what I like. So I hope that's helpful. Hopefully this gave you some insight into what you're getting with some of these loops. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments and I will try to answer them or maybe somebody else out there can answer it that has some other models or has some other experience. Or maybe you guys know about some other loops companies. I'm sure there's, I know there's more out there. Um, I had a uh, upper level fellow uh, a couple years ago who used Zeiss loops. Um, I don't think they're very big in the, in the loops um, kind of department, Zeiss, but they make uh, really nice lenses for scopes and that kind of thing. So. Um, there's other options out there, but these are some of the bigger ones that I know of. So anyways, I hope you guys found that helpful. It's a long video. Uh, if you did like it, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, all the things. I'll see you guys in the next one.